What's up guys, it's Z Shit and I am glad to be back. Sorry for the wait guys. Um we have a lot of new information or you know kind of rehash some information. Just let you guys know what we think of these letters and different theories we have and things like that. Um so let's get into it. First off, I'm gonna start with Rick Toffin's letter. Now I'm not gonna reread it because I'm sure everybody's read these letters by now. Um but starting off he talks about a site excavation leading down a dark path. Um, in our opinion, this is obviously Shinonuma. This is where the meteorite right, wreck that had element 115 on it. They're excavating it. They're trying to get the element. It's very self-explanatory. Um, then he talks about the doctor remains optimistic about this element 115. Um, now, obviously, the doctor is Maxis. A lot of people believe that it's Richtofen, but that makes no sense. This letter is written by Richtofen. Obviously, the doctor he's talking about is Maxis. Okay, so he says the potential for the newfound element are worth the associated risk. That's coming from Maxis. Again, that's element 115. And then Richman says, I agree, but I, uh, he's growing concerned with the changes in his oldest friend. Now, this is really interesting because, in my opinion, this is telling us that, yes, way back then, even Richtofen could see that Maxis was becoming evil. He was starting to become obsessed with power, and he wanted to control the world. And Richtofen seeing this... So, you know, basically, that's how I broke down this letter. Alright, so next we have Takio, and his country's becoming concerned about the weapons that the Germans are working on. Um, basically, we interpret this as the Wonder Waffle, the teleporters, time travel, things like that. Um, you know, he wants to secure these weapons for the benefit of Japan. He doesn't want the Germans to have these weapons, and they're concerned about it. His letter really didn't contain anything interesting. That's the gist of it. All right, so next we have Nikolai. Now, he's talking about a vital mission in northern France. This is very important. This is giving us a location, obviously, northern France, and you'll see why it's very important a little bit later. Um, then he goes on to talk about the Kaisers, or their war machine is gearing up to unleash something unlike anything we've seen before. Now, a lot of people are spitting out crazy stuff like, oh, there's going to be giant robots in the next DLC. Um... I really don't think Treyarch would go that crazy with it. Not to mention, we're already way in the future. So if you think about it, we've already seen anything, any type of weapons that the Germans have made. We've already seen everything. I think that the giant metal machines could simply be the teleporters. Um, maybe they mistranslated to Reese, you know, as the giant. And, you know, I just don't, I do not think there's going to be giant robots in the next DLC. That's just our opinion, but let's continue. Alright, and last but not least, we have Dempsey. He goes on to say, Germans are up to no good. Reconnaissance suggests prototype armored weapons are being tested in northern France. Um, again, very important, we have a testing facility site. Um, not only that, he's talking about the armored weapons again. Um, he basically says people are reporting strange lights in the sky. Um, now, this is interesting. A lot of people think that's either that he's talking about the fly trap. Um, which really doesn't make sense because this is way before Doris. This is 15 to 20 years before our storyline. We haven't gotten to Doris yet. So he can't be talking about the fly trap. Um, a crazy theory we had, maybe UFOs? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, a lot of us believe that aliens are, you know, they have something to do with the storyline. We don't know yet. Um, but maybe, I mean, who knows? Okay, and then going on, he talks about the mysterious plague. Obviously, that's the zombie plague. That's self-explanatory. He's talking about zombies. And even giant metal men. Now, again, a lot of people believe this is a clue to giant robots being in the next DLC. Again, I don't think they're going to go that far with it. I think that a lot of people probably heard about Doris. Um, they, you know, they the Germans wanted to move to Doris. They needed a larger facility. They called it the Giant. And they were working on these armored weapons, so people probably just interpret it as giant metal men. I don't think there's actually going to be giant robots in the next DLC. Um, then he basically says, I'm going to go see it with my own eyes. Okay, so this is all very important. Now we finally know how all of our characters met. Um, obviously, these three traveled to northern France to this testing facility they had before Doris. Um, now, I don't think that this testing facility is going to be the main next map. It might play a small part in it. Maybe we begin there or something like that. And I'll tell you why. This testing facility was before Doris. It must have been small because Doris isn't that big of a map. And they call it the Giant. They're trying to move their test there so they have more room to test teleporters and things like that. So if, the, if Doris is a Giant compared to this facility... This facility must have been pretty small. 
Um, but this facility is basically where Rick Finn, um, you know, started experimenting on our three characters. He probably caught them snooping around. Dempsey and Nikolai, he caught them snooping around. They were enemies of the Germans. And so he started, he caught them and, you know, he started experimenting on them. Somehow he found out Takio's true intentions. He knew Takio was a spy. Said screw it and started experimenting on them. Um, basically, I believe that he's, you know, Maxis went crazy with power. He wanted to take over the world. And Rick Defend decided to use these three characters that he was experimenting on with the perks and everything and decided to try to use them, you know, to help stop Maxis. So that's basically what I think about all that. Um, now I want to talk about the year 1917. A lot of people are saying that it doesn't match the storyline. It's too soon. It's 20 years before the story takes place or 15 years, whatever you believe. Um, that's not really true, guys. If you think about it, Rick, if you look at a picture of Rick Finn, he looks way older than the rest of our characters. He's probably, you know, in his late 20s, early 30s as a scientist when all these letters were written. So 15 years later, you know, he would be close to his 50s. Um, also, if you think about it, when you go into the military, you're usually 18 years old. Most people, especially back then, a lot of people were signing up at 16, 17 years old. Well, if you look at a picture of our characters, you take 16, 17, 18 years old, you add 20 onto that, they look like they're in their 30s. So yes, this, these times make perfect sense. They are 15 to 20 years before our zombie storyline actually originally started to take place. Um... Now, I want to share something with you guys that we saw the other day that we thought was really pretty cool. If you're looking at the Doris loading screen, you notice there's three teleporters. They go on to, you know, unlock a main teleporter where you teleport to. Um, now, what's really interesting is play the game. They have an inside scoop on all this stuff. They basically came out and said, this teleporter is very important. We don't know why they said that the, if you could look at teleporter, see the full picture, it's very important. Well, if you take the locations of the teleporter, flip them, you know, sideways, and then you place the points on a globe, I mean, it's not going to match up perfect, but check it out. You can actually see where teleporter 1 is, that's where transit was. Where teleporter 2 is, that's where die rise is. And where teleporter 3 is, that's where buried is. Now, what's really cool is the mainframe where all three of these teleporters link up if you check it out it's where northern france would be yeah so you know all three of these teleporters slash these towers that we've been doing all these easter eggs around connect to the mainframe of france i mean the mainframes in france or you know they're connecting in france i don't know um but basically what we're thinking is that time travel has been a huge part of the zombie storyline since Doris. Doris is a very important map. We're thinking that we're actually, we maybe we might travel back through time far enough to before the zombie outbreak started or before Rick Defend killed Maxis or, you know, before anything. Before anything was able to start, we're going to try to stop it before it starts, basically, is what we believe. The problem is, what kind of map would it be, you know, if we're trying to stop it before it starts, before there's zombies and stuff, what would we be fighting, or, you know, we don't know, we're just throwing out theories here, and we'd really like to hear you guys' feedback, and this is just some stuff that we've been thinking about, and, you know, let us know what you guys think, and thanks for watching, I'm Z, and I'm out.